Namaste, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to Namaste Today in the Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Oteki. I am your sensei to serious joy. I'm here to help you stand in your heart and walk in the light. Today is for Monday, October 20th, 2014. And today, I must say, step 27 rules the day. Now, step 27 is the, max, uh, is the master step of action. It basically means it's showtime. Things are going to start to erupt and move forward in big ways. I'll say this, expect delays in your daily life. <laughs> I'm talking to myself here with Mercury retrograde technology issues and also the fact that today is a day of action, but not just any action, the right action. And today with the Sun in Libra, the action we are taking is most likely going to align ourselves with individuals, organizations, associations, really uh, people, Libra. So there's a lot of people aligning going on. There's a lot of people unaligning going on. And there's a posture we can take to stay out of our own way. So in the Sensei Sunrise, I'll help you with that spiritual posture to take to stay out of your way and to make the most of today's action. But before we take our action, let's first tame our brain, shall we? With the phrase of the day. I feel good about myself. I feel good about my life. You want to be able to walk out the door saying that. And I know it's hard to say that, but you can actually get your emotions to feeling that whether or not it falls into all of your anal retentive details that have to happen. The universe is asking you to let go of the emotions that don't matter. And today, feel good about yourself, feel good about your life, then walk out the door. If you walk out the door not feeling good about yourself or not feeling good about your life, when you take that important action of change, it will have the energies of emotional deficit within it. So when you go, oh, I want this, God, you're saying, I want this, but I don't feel good about my life and I don't feel good about myself. <laughs> and so that little rider bill goes to your spiritual congress and nobody notices. And a lot of people will, will, this is the point, therefore, where people will repeat their karma, go around the block, go around another block, uh, around the block. Why? Because they don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel good about their life before they go out there manifesting and doing magic. So say it out loud and say it proud. I feel good about myself. I feel good about my life. And let's move on to today's serious step of the day, which is step 27, the master action step, where emotions and God, step seven, come to making an action. And this action is the highest defined action, I am, which is really the action that the Aries gets reputation for. You know, the noble hero Aries is step 27. That noble knight that doesn't do, you know, doesn't kill unless necessary, follows a certain code of ethics. The code of ethics is the seven. So your master 27 Aries, a, tw a step 27 Aries is a grand master Aries. One that uh, knows precisely when to act and when not to act. And that is the seven, that they're listening to God creation and their highest self. And it's built into the action. So let's look at, oh, one last thing, the moon. So the two part of it today, I feel good about myself, I feel good about my life, is a Virgo essence, which means that feelings will be easily uh, hung up on small details that don't matter. So you want to let go of those and release from those and, you want, uh, and recognize that you want to instead hold on to the details of a greater reality that you seek today. So put your emotions on that and see what happens. But by tonight, things will definitely calm down as the moon shifts into Libra and prepares for a new moon when the moon hits Scorpio. It's not going to new moon again in Libra. So we're kind of returning and we're wrapping up emotionally where we have been as we leap for the right thing today. So let's look at the chakras involved. For starters, it's always emotions. The third chakra, I feel. So I feel good about myself. I feel good about my life. Then we open up our psychic state of awareness and see what matches. Where is the match here? And this is like good old classic memory in cards. It's like you feel something, you look for its match in the psychic awareness to see if the psychic world is also agreeing with that. I'll give you some practicals in the Sensei Sunrise on how this works. And then when they add up, it goes to red. We go. And the interesting thing about chakras is red is go in the chakra world. Uh, and it also is stop too, but stop gets all of the all of the credit there. So today there will be a point when you want to act, and you definitely want to be you know solid in your own emotions and grounded before you go out there. You're better off being late than showing up disarrayed. 
I would say. And it's okay because everything, when it comes to a day of action, everything happens when it's actually supposed to be on a step 27 day, whether people agree with it or not. It's whether or not they're in touch with that seven. So let's look at the planet soup. What does God have in store or cooking up there in the stars for us? Well, the sun is at step 27. So that means we are wrapping up the sun in Libra. We'll be moving into the sun in Scorpio on, uh, on Thursday, which is a solar eclipse as well. We have Mercury going direct in a couple of days. And this is the step we take to restore balance and order in our life. Now here's the triad. North node confirms, okay? So Mercury is conjuncting the north node, which is a mystical, magical, uh, mathematical point uh, based by the eclipse of the Earth and all sorts of things. Uh, but the important part of it is, in astrology, it is basically the point where creator is saying, go here for fulfillment, go here for a fulfilled life. And in your natal chart, it tells you the same thing. So at the moment, the universe is pointing towards step 19 Libra, as a fulfilled life. In fact, the North Node has been at Step 19 Libra for a long time, which means the universe is basically saying, hey, the fulfilled life is Step 19 Libra. Love and trust yourself. Act on nine what you love and trust toward what? Well, Libra, giving and receiving. So our minds are kind of putting down a plateau today, a, a mindful plateau. And Venus is is sticking to a decision, step eight, which is that we're deciding. And then, boom, we're, we're leaping from that decision right there. Now, all three of these parts of yourself might line up like a lightning cord at some point. And I want to put out that, like, when they all three light up, isn't always the time to act. There's a difference. So there'll be a point when you get it, when you're like, oh, my God, I need to do this. Just decide to do that and do that. And it does all come in. Now, that doesn't mean you necessarily jump at that point. You have come to full inner integrity at that point. Just pointing out there, some people jump too soon. And you might say, wasn't that all part of the matrix? Well, yes, it was. That means you'll go another round uh, a different way. The reason why this is important is because we have a solar eclipse on Thursday, which is going to take whatever energy you decide and act on here in the next three days and catapult it forward. All right? Now, today the moon is in Virgo, so that means that we emotionally can very clearly, definitively, with sticky detail, know exactly what we want to emotionally aim for. And so uh, we ought to be clear, not just in how we feel and feel good about our life, but feel where we want to go and where we want to grow. And that's based on our heart. But the moon should be able to easily feel that. And in other words, like when you, well, we'll talk about that here in the Sensei Sunrise. I'll do that in a second here. I'm getting ahead of myself in this retrograde. But Jupiter is at step 10 also. Look at that beautiful step 19. So, woo, look at that. Look at the synchronicity of the steps. How Jupiter is at step 19 Leo, which means love and trust and act on your heart. And this will create, step 10, a new platform as Jupiter heads into the step 20s, into the passion of our heart really quickly here. Black Lula still honing in on spirit at step 7. And this is why there's the point of no return, which is one of the songs bouncing in my head today. I don't know why. The point of no return. It's not today's song, though. Uh, is that Saturn is at step 22. We're changing our karmic story forever. And the universe is definitely throwing in last-minute surprises with the Mercury retrograde. So keep a lookout for little surprises where God comes in at the last second and plays a card. But this does mean that uh, we are going to be moving into boundary making now that stick with us for 30 years. And we might be undoing boundaries that we laid in the 80s. So this is the undo of 80s emotional boundaries and the creation of uh, the new uh, era's boundaries. And the decisions and the actions that you're taking now in Libra are determining just how, quote, fair or balanced uh, those boundaries will be. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> this brings us to the Sensei Sunrise. Oh, Lord, have patience with me. So I do volcanoes, although today really shouldn't feel like a volcano, but it is in the story of things. It is officially showtime. When emotions and God come together, we take master action. These actions, because they happen at 27 degrees, have a trickle-down effect. I will also say the actions you take at this degree are usually very, very subtle when it comes to the actual action energy of the Earth. So in other words, the action you take today will be like pushing a button. Action at step nine in the consciousness is pick up a sword, stab the mofo, right? <laughs> Action at 27 is different. 
it is based on our psychic awareness built into it. So how we build this is we first feel ourselves. I feel good about my life. I feel good about myself. I feel good about my life. Uh, that's the two. We protect that. So after we feel good about it, we go, and we want it to stay this way. And we want to protect everything. And so you have to say into the conscious matrix, hey, conscious matrix, protect this feeling that I'm walking out the door with. And then once you walk out the door, we have our left ear open, okay, which is our eye sense psychic state of awareness, which is basically listening for a disturbance in the force. When you feel a disturbance, you kind of match the seven to the emotion. So it's like, okay, I feel this. And then you kind of like go back to that emotional ground. And basically you become your own uh, antenna, water and psychic, to find where the point of action is. So today you might be waiting to take action to tell somebody something or to fire somebody or to call somebody or whatever. And everyone goes, hey, when's the right time? Well, uh, in a different perspective, if you're not going out there looking in the world for your next sale or whatever, you might just be sitting in this posture. This is the posture to sit in where you're mindful of your emotions and you're mindful of your intuition. You will feel, you will sense that it's time and then it will feel right. Yes, it is. So it's like, oh, I think it's time. I sense it's time. Yes, I feel it's time. So when the two come together, that's when you take action, my friend. That's when you move. That's when you call them. That's when you tell them, right? When the two are kind of humming together. So we have to stay in the self-mindful master Yoda pose of step 27 until the right thing passes, the right moment happens. And when the right moment happens, I have some advice for you on that after this. Are you wondering why you can't get her attention? Tired of dating your mother? Have you ever wondered why you're always cheating? How come girls always call you their friend? How do you get her to say yes? Introducing Secrets of Birthday, the Love and Lust Report. You send us your date of birth. We cut together a special video all around you. You'll see the patterns in your love life right away. So if you're interested in knowing all the little sexy secrets about you, come on down to secretsofbirthdays.com. And here we are at the Solmar Trading Post today. You can get your Secrets of Birthdays Love and Lust Report for just $19.95. Go to secretsofbirthdays.com. You put in your date of birth. You select a delivery date. And you get a 20 to 22 minute video all about you. One of the cool things about these videos that I never put in those commercials is that I tell you what your pattern is as far as dating your students. So if you draw on a certain archetype of a student, I explain to you what about your personality draws it in. These are a lot of fun and they're available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Now your Megascope monthly report, go back and watch it. The solar eclipse coming up on Thursday is powerful, transformative, and I go into a lot of backstory to help you make the right decisions or take the right action. If you're uncertain on the right action to take today, watch your Megascope monthly. That's why I put so much time into them. I hope they're helpful to you. And if you're on our email list, you can get $3 off your Megascope monthly, or you can go and buy your rising sign. If that would be of help, it will tell you your story or legacy. Now, if you like to, uh, uh, tips are appreciated. That's what I was basically going to say. Or if you like to tip uh, your friendly light worker, you may. We have several practitioners that people buy readings with, so they ask me, how can I tip? Go back, there's now a tip jar there, and we thank you in advance for that. Now, if you would like to know more about your natural born step, for instance, the step numbers, your personality step, and your emotional step, I can help you get back in the step with a 15-minute step reading. Seriously. These are uh, recorded, and these will be ones that you go back and watch a long time uh, or re-listen to a long time because I basically tell you exactly the vibration to get into your natural born step so you know if you're in integrity before you walk out the door. These are really good and worth the money. So this brings us to today's gong. And today's gong is designed to help you take, make the right step or not make the wrong step. And that is this. The right action is usually easy going. So I find that in the synchronicity of the universe, as we follow our emotions and we listen with our left ear for the time to take the action, when we try to stay in synchronicity with the action, usually at the moment of no return, it's very easy. It's very easy. The universe is designed to run like clockwork. And although it may appear like chaos in many times, when we're in touch with our feelings and we're in touch with our psychic awareness and we take that action at the right time, you will find it is almost effortless. Sometimes I get a little giddy. My inner child is releasing steam of anxiety 
because I had built so much up to that moment, but that moment is actually very calm, very natural feeling. If you're pushing hard today, hmm, that's not how the universe really works. And so you will see the universe pushes back hard. So treat yourself like you want the universe to treat you. Treat the universe like you want to be treated and stay in that harmony of step 27 today. One last thing I will tell you is that quite often refusing to take action is as powerful as taking action. So if someone throws a punch or throws out an invitation for the old argument, by not reacting, you may have as powerful effect as reacting. By avoiding the wave and letting it go by, it has to find someone else to bounce off of. Meditate on that, my friend. But before you do, let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters and where I recommend they take action today. Starting with the Scorpios. Step zero, sunny and social today. I am recommending you act on your faith. That means you may not see the bridge, but if you sense the bridge, step onto the bridge. Step one, the Leos, sunny and manifesting today, quite literally. You want to act on your knowledge that you have or a particular message that you've been wanting to put out. I know Mercury's retrograde, but go ahead and get that started anyways, Your Majesty. Step two, the Cancers. Sunny and chit-chatty, you are acting on home family uh, and emotional improvement. So you might start therapy today. You might start yoga. You might start something that will help you feel better. Or you might end something in family drama. Step three, the Sagittarius says... You are sunny and professional today, but you want to take action in your social ambition. And if that means you've been waiting to go say hi to a person over there in the cafeteria, today's the day you should, if you sense that it's the right time. Step four is the Aquarius says, sunny and super private today, but I got to say, you want to act on your life purpose now. Funny thing about life purposes of Aquarius is they're visionary and they're very future-based. So, yeah, you're the only one doing it right now. That's why you're the visionary. Step five, the Geminis. Sunny nesting and resting today. You want to act on your love or your creative projects or both. So, act on behalf of your heart today. It's important that you show your heart that you're serious. Step six, the Librans. Sunny and spiritual today. A little withdrawn. And even though you're feeling withdrawn and a little clouded... You definitely want to act on the new you, the new you. So if someone challenges you and you agree that this is the way you're going to act in the future, then you unfortunately have to act even though you spiritually would prefer to be in church today. Step seven, the Pisces, sunny and sentimental. Act on changing yourself and life today. Here's a little thing. You know Pisces and fish and currents and dreams. Well, today, Pisces, if you quit smoking or you quit drinking or you start something, the stream consciousness will carry you along, make it easier. Step eight, the Capricorn, sunny and passionate today. You want to act on your career and future plans. That's a little brainer for Capricorns. You probably already did it by the time you watch this. I know. Step nine, the air eye. Act on those long-term partnerships that you want to keep in your life. Put into action. You might have to show something just as a symbolism, not a shot over the bow, Aries, <laughs> but something that shows you're serious. Step 10, the tour is sunny and childlike today. You want to act on your lifestyle changes. And I got to give a little advice today. Oh my God, you have no idea how many times this video crashed. And I realized today I was forced to stay within what I practice. Like the universe forced to act like I preach. But uh, definitely stay in those lifestyle changes. Do not give up. Go global. Step 11 is the Virgo, sunny and super cool the moon in their sign. You want to act on raising your prices. So go ahead and gently raise your prices, whether people notice you raise them or not. All right, so let's look at the Lightwalker Parade. Let's see the videos we have following this video to help you in and walk in the light. First of all, to keep your body in the light, Venus Prime Health, we have weight loss supplements that will not hurt you. They're organic, they're helpful, and they come from Mother Earth. We also have Sadiqa Salter. She's giving us how Mother Earth is giving you the blue tansy. This scent will help you rebalance your life. So if you want a little help from Mother Nature, check out our little Mother Nature, Sadiqa Salter. And then we had a great conversation in Circle of Wisdom about spiritual journeys, ayahuasca, ama, and introducing Nikki Omen. She's a wonderful light worker and definitely worth your time. Great vibration. On Modern Moms, we talked about Slender, Slenderman stabbings and how the internet has become a place for its own myth 
and how cat kids are acting on that myth. So we really going to be up not just on internet addresses, but internet myth. More on that on your Modern Mommies. We do ask, if you're watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. It helps us with our YouTube relationship. And you can be our friend on Facebook by navigating to soulgarden.me. And you can join our email list and see all the great things we have for Soulmart services at soulmart.me. We thank you in advance for taking the time. But the greatest thing you can do, of course, is spread the light. Tell your friends about soulgarden.tv. We appreciate that, and we thank you in advance. When it feels right and you sense it's the right time, let them know. All right? And that brings us to today's song of the day, which is... Oops, we got Will Smith there. Look at all these button changes. Forgive me, folks. I'm just going with the flow. Today, Libra Will Smith. And I know he's an actor and a great actor, and I actually just saw him over the weekend uh, doing work and stuff, but he actually puts out some cool songs. This one has a real good vibe, uh, and it takes you back to the 90s, called The Wild West. It came out for a movie. I think the song did better than the movie did. But Will Smith, if you don't know, is, uh, let's see here, trying to get this going, is, again, is, thank you, a Step 1 Libra. Uh, and step one Libras, it's kind of interesting. You can really feel these Libras because that one is I love, and they have this glow about them, step ones. In fact, step ones in all of the 12 signs, including Leo, are so bright. They're really bright, beautiful souls. So uh, get your moving up in the Wild Wild West. Sometimes it feels like the Wild Wild West. That's why I brought this song out today. It certainly did today for me. Thank you in advance for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with more. <laughs> It's just so ironic. So